Hello friends, this video on neat current electricity is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Now let's move on to the last topic which is electrical energy and power. Now let us quickly see how do we calculate electrical energy. So electrical energy is given by E is equal to VIT where V refers to the potential difference or uh, the voltage. I refers to the current and T is the time taken. So this can also be written in terms of resistance because from Ohm's law we know that V is equal to IR. So V can also be written as IR into I into T that is equal to I square RT. So this is also one way of writing electrical energy in terms of current and resistance. You can also write it as V square by R into T in terms of voltage and resistance. So this is how you can uh, express electrical energy. Now, how do we measure electrical energy? It is measured in joules written as capital J. Now, when we talk about electrical energy, it becomes important to talk about the Joule's law of heating, which states that electric current produces or absorbs thermal energy or heat energy. And the heat absorbed or produced due to flow of current is given by W is equal to VIT. So exactly the same expression as this one. So basically electrical energy is equal to VIT which is also equal to the amount of heat which is produced or absorbed due to flow of current. So this is known as Joule's law of heating. Now the next we talk about electrical power and we know that power is nothing but energy per unit time. So electrical power can be written as VI because energy is VIT. So when you do it per unit time, so it, we are left with VI. And how do we measure power? Now, okay, power can also be written as I square R. It can also be written as V square by R by considering the Ohm's law. Now, how do we measure power? Power is measured in watts which is written as capital W. The bigger unit of power is kilowatt. One kilowatt is equal to 1000 watts. Now, so that, that's about power and the SI unit of power. Now to measure electrical energy consumption on a commercial scale, like how much electricity did we consume in our house or how much electricity was consumed in your school. So to measure electrical energy consumption on a commercial scale, Joule is not sufficient because Joule becomes a smaller unit. So therefore, the commercial unit to measure electrical energy consumption is kilowatt hour. So the commercial unit is kilowatt hour. So what is this kilowatt hour? That means when one kilowatt of power is consumed in one hour. So one kilowatt hour is equal to 3.6 into 10 to the power 6 joules. So such huge amount of joules is equal to 1 kilowatt power. And 1 kilowatt power is often referred as 1 unit of electrical energy. Now you would have often seen that you know when, when the electricity consumption of your house is measured using the meter which is uh, you know fixed in your house, you see that you often talk in terms of units like uh, 100 units of electricity has been consumed. So 1 unit is basically 1 kilowatt hour. And how do we define 1 kilowatt hour? It is the energy dissipated in 1 hour when the electric power in the circuit is 1 kilowatt. Now these are some important things because when you actually look at the problems or the numericals, so there you need to know about these, the relationship between unit and kilowatt. 1 unit is 1 kilowatt hour. 1 kilowatt hour is 3.6 into 10 to the power 6 joules. So this was all about electrical energy and power. Thank you. Please visit examfear.com for free quality education. You can learn with a simple four step learning process wherein you can watch video lessons, you can ask your questions, you can refer notes and you can take a free online test. We have content for class 6 to 12 on physics, chemistry, mathematics and biology along with practical videos. So please subscribe to our channel for daily updates. Thank you.